In this video, I'm going to show you how to come up with a bidding strategy on your Google Ads campaign that actually works to pull in results sooner rather than later. A lot of people are confused with where to set their manual bids, so they end up just giving up and, and uh, you know, going into one of the automated bidding options that Google pushes now. Um, so first things first, what I do is I like to uh, do a keyword analysis. So what I mean by that is I'll go to Google's keyword planner and I will type in my, you know, right here is where you access it. Um, you'll go to the planning one, right? And you'll go to the keyword planner. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but what you do is you put in your major key. We have another video on how to how to do keyword research on our channel. So if you're looking for how to do that, uh, watch that video, please. Um, but put in your major keywords, put in your geo. Then what we do is we export the results of the uh, list that Google provides into this sheet, right? And we only keep four columns, keyword, monthly searches, top of page bid low, top of page bid high. Those are the only four columns we keep in our keyword sheet. Now from this in red, we create our negative keywords and all that good stuff. And then, you know, we create our ad groups um, separately, right? So I have a completely separate ad group sheet right here, which is pretty gnarly with all the ad groups we're going to be going after with ad group negative keywords and everything. So th this is what I'm going to be building in, in other videos. But I wanted to specifically bring you through the bidding part, how to go about this bidding predicament that people have. So the way I do the bidding uh, decision for a Google Ads campaign is I'll usually stop at 20 searches per month within the niche that we're targeting. Um, so this is for a local lead generation campaign, keep in mind. So it won't apply to every niche, but and I'll take the average. So like, for example, this one came up with no bid right here, this bankruptcy lawyers Mesa. Okay. So I'm going to just use this opportunity to create an additional column and then boom, right here, we'll do average, um, bid. Okay. So then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do equals average. Okay. And then I'm going to go the way, oop, and take that average, and then I'm going to do the same thing for right here. Oh, looks like that uh, it's not populating. It. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to do dollar amount. So it looks like, generally speaking, the dollar amount is between 1850 and about 39 bucks. When you take the keywords that uh, are searched at least 20 times per month, this is sorted by monthly searches, right? So I'm gonna factor that into my decision making here and I'm going to probably choose a high bid because I know that the client is looking for immediate results and I always like to, you know, kick things off with a bang uh, to get their ads showing up at a decent position and then really micromanage the campaign for the first couple of days and weeks to make sure that we're not overspending on keywords that we could be spending less on. So I'm going to actually say for, for a campaign like this, for the first few days, the bidding strategy would be best to go to 40. So just to go a little bit above that top of page bid just to make sure we're on page one so that we're actually getting results but then to understand that since we're going on the high end we're starting there it's going to require more micromanagement and daily optimization to make sure that that bid is not causing the person or you if you were the person uh, to overspend on keywords okay so that is one way to come up with a keyword bid is to take the average of the low page, um, top, top of page low bids and the top of page bid high bids and to go a little bit above that high one when you're starting a new campaign to make sure that your ads show up high enough to get results. So $40. All 
Alrighty. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that was helpful. If you want any more in-depth information on how to choose bids for your Google Ads campaign, uh, let me know and I will create more videos on it. Thanks.